channel it's anala banks here honey and let's get into today's story time y'all had to come off laughing into this one because this one was messy so i used to work at this club out there in the florida right so i had rode to florida with my sister because my sister and her broke ass friend they was going over there to the bahamas you know what i mean some of y'all you know folks always fall out when you bring the broke motherfucking shit so my sister dropped me off and during the whole time she was gonna be out there in the bahamas i was gonna be working at the club i didn't have nowhere to stay down there because i don't live down there at this point so one of my co-workers one of the girls i was working with she told me i could stay at her house so i'm like okay cool so I get down there she was like oh girl you need to get your nails done you need to get your toes done you need to do your hair you need to do this bitch don't worry about me I know what the fuck I'm doing bitch I was here before your ass was here shut the fuck up she's talking all this she all this big money shit down there them folks stay in them trailers with the tin roof honey this girl was irking me as soon as I get down there day one I'm trying to go to work I did my hair put my press on zone and all shit like that I go to work my sister is gone for three or four days so you know I'm crunched on time I'm trying to get out the money honey I'm trying to get all the coins that these folks owe me. At day two, I worked on day one. Day two, homegirl, she's married, right? This We gonna name her Rochelle. Rochelle is really fucking married, y'all. She got two kids by this by her husband, honey. And she not there all the way in the head. Uh, I figured this out when I was there, honey, because she got a lot of mental issues. She was one of them girls that, like, drunk herself into, like, like, depression states and stuff like that she used drugs and she used to cut herself i didn't know about this shit till i got down there her husband not there but she there and her her boyfriend is there and he's sitting on the couch with her and i'm trying to figure out if you married why are you sitting on another man's lap right she was like oh we about to go to the store real quick we'll be right back do you mind watching my sons i'm like how long you gonna be she was like, oh, about 30 minutes, no more than an hour where she was like, we're going to go to the store, go get some groceries and stuff like that. I'll be back before the time the club open. I'm like, okay, cool. She leaves y'all and I can't go to work because she ain't back and the husband don't come home. And I'm trying to figure out why the hell you letting your stripper friend stay in your house with your husband and this shit not, the math ain't mathing and I'm getting a little confused. So my mom, she has she has a lot of experience with like just being an adult, being a parent, being, you know, the responsible person. So I call my mom and I'm like, mom, this girl ain't come back and I'm supposed to be going to work. Like, these ain't my kids. I'm about to leave. And she was like, well, now if you leave, then, you know, you would be held accountable for if anything was to happen to them kids. Something's weird. Something's fishy going on here. And my mom's like, yeah, Nolly, you can't do it. You, you better be there for them kids. So now I'm pissed. So now I'm calling this girl. I've been blowing this girl the fuck up. She won't answer the phone, honey. But she's sharing her location with me. And here we are over here in the plant city florida and this girl is like four or five hours away from me and she not coming back i don't have the husband's number i don't have an emergency contact number there's no number listed around the house these two little kids ain't nobody tell me what they eating habits is how often they eat if they gotta use like ointment or something like they, not, they nothing basically got a stranger watching her kids what if i wasn't there mentally what if I, how do you leave your kids with somebody while you out here humping on the next man? What the fuck? Y'all, story gets worse. I'm like, oh shit. So I get to texting her. I'm calling her because I keep calling her. She's not answering. It's going to straight to voicemail at this point. So I'm texting her and I'm like, hey, if you're not here within the next hour, I'm calling CPS on your kids. I am calling 911 and I'm telling them, won't come back. You won't answer the phone. I can't get in contact with nobody. If something was really going on with your kids, honey, you would be, you are, you are a sucky ass fucking parent. What type of parent does shit like this? She was like, oh, you better not call the police on me because I'll come back and whoop your ass. I said, honey, pull up. Pull up to your house where i'm at bitch because now now i see red it took her quite some time to get back there because day two passed she's still not here day three passed the bitch still not here day four my sister is back in america and she's on her way to come get me and i ain't been to fucking work like y'all i was so pissed off because not only did i have to go half with my sister on like gas well with the other broke girl to uh gas to get down there but I also had to have money to, you know, help myself during that time and to get back. So I was like, I got enough to do that, but I'm trying to make the profit. I want the more. I want some more. I want to add to the bag that I had. Y'all, I couldn't make no money. So I'm pissed because I'm in the house watching somebody fucking kids. I don't even know. Then the kids don't even say shit to me. They act like I don't exist. Like this shit happens all the time. 
So day four, my sister um is on her way to me. And I'm like, well, how do I do this? Because the girl, ain't nobody here to get these kids. My sister, she's like five hours away from me. My sister is overseas, so I've been trying to text her and call her and shit. But the Wi-Fi on the damn ship ain't working. So I can't really get in contact with my sister, which is annoying. So then I get to text her like, bitch, listen, if you don't pull up by the time my sister get here, I'm calling the police and I'm about to go. You can figure out what the fuck gonna happen with your kids, but I don't even fucking live here. You're not finna hold me against my will to watch your kids, bitch. I, no, we not about to do that. She talking about some she about to pull up to beat my ass. At this point, I'm going through her whole house to see what the fuck the bitch on. Yo, I find so many little baggies with corner cuts on them. It's crazy. I get to going through their pictures that they got up on the wall and shit, and I'm like, damn, why they ain't got no marriage pictures up here? They really married, though. But she got pictures of her and her boyfriend on the wall while her and her husband stay in this trailer. Yo, I was like, what the fuck type of messy shit is this? So then I go outside because they got a barbecue grill and I'm about to insert the footage. So her husband found out that she was cheating on him with this man and he was okay with it. Um, But he was pissed because she didn't tell him. He had like this black box and she was putting everything in his box that like she was trying to get over, things that she was holding on to, make make sense to me. This man fucking put it on the grill and burn it. She finally pull up. It's raining bad outside and it's thundering and it's lightning. And she's telling me, we got to go inside. We can't fight outside. We're going to have to fight inside her house. She come in and she got to do with her. And he's looking at me crazy, looking like Bruno Mars and shit. We're in her living room. I'm sitting here. She's sitting here. And we're the way we're sitting, we're both facing each other. She's sitting there and the dude, he get up and go in the back or whatever. And then he come back and he keep reaching. He keep like reaching on him. I'm like, oh, okay. So he got a weapon. I told the Bruno Mars looking man. I said, you going to sit your ass right here right here because ain't no jumping in on this shit and i'm just letting that shit be known right now because if i gotta turn around and shoot your ass i'm gonna shoot your ass to kill your ass now don't fucking play with me play with your kids if you got some but you're not finna fucking play with me and he was like no it's all good y'all could do what y'all got to do so the girl get up so i'm up already because i'm in his face pointing my finger in his face and shit like that and rochelle was like don't disrespect my man so i boop, i slapped the bitch the bit oh so she gets she on the ground so she's on the ground she gets up because i'm wait i want a fair fight so she gets up, big, big, big. Y'all, we get to fight. We get to fight. It wasn't really her fighting. It was like me fighting because she didn't really do nothing, y'all. She didn't do nothing. It was like she didn't know where to swing, who to swing at. She didn't know. It was, it, I don't know what the fuck the lady was doing. She wasn't, she was fighting, but she wasn't fighting me. She was fighting like air or something. I don't know, but we got to fight, y'all. I'm talking about, I'm beating this girl ass, like beating the fuck out this girl. I got special ringtones for people. So I knew my sister was calling me, but I'm whooping this bitch ass. I'm not going to stop and then go answer the phone. I could have, I could have played with her some more, but I wanted to get my anger out. Cause how you going to leave your kids with a complete stranger? Tell me you going to come back and then you don't come back and then i'm threatening you with cps and you still don't give a fuck but you keep telling everybody you love your kids and you hustle to get the shit that you got for your kids but your kids don't even fuck with you like man i swear these people crazy these motherfuckers is crazy and floridians i don't fucking understand the floridians i ain't lying we get to fighting or whatever so i'm trying to go outside but it's raining so bad outside she was like nala you might not want to go out there because i don't want you to get electrocuted because we stay in trailer park homes and you know lightning likes to strike this stuff all the time down here and i don't want you to get electrocuted so you might just want to stay indoors and wait till your sister come i'm like okay cool so i sit back on the couch she sit on that other couch and we just stand at each other while she just leaking and shit just blood coming everywhere and i'm just staring at her she just staring at me and i'm waiting on my sister to pull up because i could have waited outside i could have went down the road to the club but i didn't i just wait there in her house like y'all it was a whole fucking mess y'all oh yeah that's the time when i had fought my co-worker um over cps over her kids over her man over her boyfriend over everything over the disrespect over every fuck thing i sure in the fuck did and i was not wrong because who the fuck does what parent does that bitch you don't deserve to be a parent you don't even deserve to have a uterus you stupid ass lady so with that being said if y'all enjoyed today's story time make sure you give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps my channel y'all when y'all do stuff like that it really helps me put me back into the mood to sit up here and talk to y'all if you really enjoyed my story time or if you just really want to support me i appreciate it if you can give this video a big thumbs up if you can subscribe if you haven't already so you can join banks gang honey because if it ain't the banks gang then it's no gang and that's on what motherfucking period and that's on what john ate a booger that did not taste like sugar okay and that's on who mary that did not have a fucking little lamb okay because that little lamb had her make sure you share this video with your family and friends and until next time banks gang <laughs> bye